गुड मॉर्निंग डियर फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ सुनील एस सोनिग्रा वर्किंग एज अ लेक्चर इन मेकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एट गवर्नमेंट पॉलिटेक्निक राजकोट एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वेरियस वेल्डिंग्स ड्राइंग्स एज वी नो ड्राइंग इज द लैंग्वेज ऑफ इंजीनियर्स सो विदाउट नोइंग द लैंग्वेज टू इंजीनियर्स कैन नॉट टॉक विथ इच अदर सो वी शुड नो हाउ वेल्डिंग पैरामीटर्स should be drawn in drawing which welding processes are to be given in the drawing which symbols are used how to interpret various parameters of welding that should be drawn on drawing sheet which norms are there that we will discuss in today's discussion the topic of discussion would include welding symbols as per bis 813 and asme primary symbols and supplementary symbols then we will discuss about weld nomenclature weld dimensions welding drawing interpretation various drawings would be given to you and we have to interpret which welding process is used over there now before going in discussion of welding drawing first we should know what is welding as far as the present subject is concerned we need not to worry about the definition of welding but we should know what's welding let me recall its definition welding is a process used to connect two parts permanently it's not temporary it's a permanent connection either with or without uses of heat and or filler metal heat and filler metal may be used may not be used it's widely used in construction of containers and pipelines for liquids and gases because welding prevents leakage of gas and liquid it is also widely used in a structural works types of welding at present discussion we will cover three types of weldings the first is gas welding second is arc welding and then resistance welding now what is this gas welding as we know two gases namely acetylene and oxygen are used to produce flames of high temperature to melt metals and filler material it is called as gas welding which is used in road side weldings because two gas cylinders are needed and flames are produced and easily welding could be done second process that is called as arc welding as the name indicate the intense heat of an electric arc is used to fuse the metals to be welded the metal is fused is heated with the help of intense heat of an electric arc so it is called as arc welding the third one is resistance welding resistance welding means in this welding a strong electric current is used to heat the area of the joint to fusion temperature it's heated up to the fusion temperature and then pressure is applied to create the weld the pressure may be heavy pressure or it may be a gentle pressure the next types of welded joints whenever we prepare any welding joints various types of welded joints would be there first is this these two components are joined like this red colored component is upper side and green colored component is lower side and at the connection of these two somewhere here both are joined so this type of welded joint is called as lap joint because lapping is there so it's called as lap joint second is this one both are joined like this so it is called as butt joint two faces meeting with each other and at the meeting part the welding is done so this kind of joint is called as butt joint third one it may be joined like this one component is vertical another component is horizontal it may be welded it is called as t joint as it produces english letter t shape and the fourth one it would be like this two components may be joined like this 
one is some reverse L shape and another is flat both are joined like this it is called as edge joint edges are joined over here so this type of welded joints are widely used in welding processes types of gas and arc weld how many types of arc welds or gas welds would be there the first is fillet weld second is groove weld third is bead weld plug weld or slot weld now types of resistance weld spot weld it's a resistance weld seam weld in further discussion we will discuss about the symbols of uh, all these types of welds third is butt resistance weld it's also called as pressure weld fourth one is flush weld and then projection weld so these are the widely used resistance welds now what is ASME as the name indicates it's a small form of a letter American Society of Mechanical Engineers ASME it's a non-profit organization it is founded in 1880 and its head headquarter is in New York it came into existence due to numerous of accidents occurs in many boilers in early decades many years ago numerous of boilers in the early stages they failed because of certain reasons so the people met at that time they decided some norms some safety standards and they form the society which is known as ASME it develops and publishes standards for design construction and testing of many mechanical devices similarly bis it's known as bureau of indian standards this is also the government undertaken enterprise it produces various standards which are used in india to to manufacture certain components for safety for inspection etc it's a body of government of india bis now elementary symbols s pair bis 813 welding symbols are covered in bis 813 in which are these elementary symbols that we are going to discuss designation of the symbol is a square butt weld this is first one square butt weld <coughs> it's made like this a square shape is there two plates are joined like this and its symbol is two vertical lines just simple two vertical lines placed at uniform distance second one is single v butt weld here butt weld is there v cut is there so it appears like this v shape is there at the intersection of two plates both these plates are joined like this weld welding is done over here it forms v shape so its symbol is v capital v of english letters third one single bevel butt weld here single bevel is there so v cut is made on one side only on one plate inclined cut is there on another plate straight cut is there it forms the shape like this an inclined v with one line vertical so this is a symbol for single bevel butt weld fourth one single v butt weld with broad root face it's shown like this it's a single v butt weld and root face is broad like this so it is it's a symbol is capital y is shown over here because its shape is somehow equal to y then single bevel butt weld with broad root face it's butt weld so it's round like this it's y but somehow twisted y shown over here then single u butt weld its u shape butt weld is there u cut is made when two plates are joined with butt weld and filler metal is filled over here 
or welding is done inside this U shape. So, its a symbol is like this a U and small line below U. This line is drawn to show that the U cut is not made throughout these two plates from this upper surface to this lower surface. The cut is made up to certain distance only. Then after some passage is there. So, this passage is shown by small straight line. Next elementary symbol as per BIS 813 seventh one that is single J butt weld. It is like this. This is the illustration of single J butt weld and it is a sim symbol is like this straight vertical line and some curved line or mirror image of English letter Y. Eighth one is baking run or it is also called as baking weld. It is like this. It is it's welded like this upper surface is somehow curvature and here welded portion welding is done. So, its symbol is like this a semicircle. It is not a full circle, it is an arc drawn over here and it is filled with a line. Then fillet weld, the fillet weld is illustrated like this two plates are joined to form a T shape. Here welding is done. So, this welding portion have triangular shape. So, its symbol is just a right angle triangle as shown over here. The next is butt weld between plates with raised edges. The edges are raised being melted down completely like this two edges are raised like this. After raising these two edges they both are melted down because of this process the similar material is used to joint these two plates and hence the strength of this joint would be much higher as compared to the material or other filler material used over here. So, raised edge joint is shown over here and its symbol is like this two edges are raised with some curvature lines. Then next is plug weld or it is also called as slot weld. It is illustrated like this a plug portion is there as we know what is plug. Plug means the device which can be inserted inside any passage. So, here its symbol is also like this two lines are there which can be inserted inside. So, it is a plug weld or slot weld. Then spot weld as we know spot means making a circular spot like this. These two plates are joined with a spot weld here circular spots are made over here 1, 2, here 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, its a symbol is just a circle like this. So, it is indicated by it indicates the spot weld. Then 13th one seam weld how to illustrate and symbolize seam weld. This is a seam weld as shown over here and its symbol is like this a circle and then two horizontal lines as shown over here. So, these were regarding some basic symbols. Now, we will discuss about some supplementary symbols as per BIS 813. These supplementary symbols are used to illustrate the shape of weld or the property of surface of the weld. It is shown over here like this shape of weld surface if it is a flat the shape of weld surface is flat usually finished flush then its a symbol is just a straight line because flat surface is there. If shape of weld surface is convex like this it is a convex. So, it is a symbol is like this a convex shape and if the shape of weld surface is concave like this then its a symbol is also a concave shape like this. Here no need to have some standard dimension to draw this arc just concave shape and convex shape should be drawn depends upon the size of the drawing. Now, next is the application of supplementary symbols in the drawing. We discussed three supplementary symbols. These three symbols are very much important 
as far as the subject is concerned. In mechanical drafting and in this chapter, these three supplementary symbols are widely used and many times asked in examinations. Three types of supplementary symbols, flat, concave and convex. Now, how they are applied in various drawings and what are the applications of these symbols that we will discuss. The first is flat single V butt weld. Here flat surface is there and single V butt weld is there. So, it is like this single V butt weld is there. This upper surface is completely flat as shown over here. No any material is there over here above this V shape. So, its symbol is like this V which indicates V butt weld, single V butt weld and a horizontal straight line above V is drawn over here that indicates it is a flat surface. In examination, you may be asked to draw this symbol, symbol of flat single V butt weld. So, at that time just you have to draw V, draw horizontal line and you may draw its illustration like this. The second is convex double V butt weld like this double V. V is above side and V is below side, two V are there and it is a convex. So, the surface is convex like this, it may be concave, but at present it is a convex like this. So, its a symbol is drawn like this, two V, one is this, another is the mirror of this V. So, that will form an X and both the surfaces are convex. So, here the symbol of convexity is drawn on upper side as well as on lower side of X. So, this is the application of supplementary.